Have you looked around lately? The brokenness, the division, the hate. After a while, it begins to take a toll. We begin to view people differently. Servanthood gives way to skepticism. Faith transforms into fear. Love begins to languish under the weight of uncertainty. It's easy to become who we were never meant to be. Cynical, angry, lost. In moments like this, we're reminded of the lasting meaning of Christmas. A savior given to bear the weight of our sin, to mend our brokenness, to make whole our divisions. The love of God on full display, bringing light to the darkness, giving hope to the hopeless. This Christmas, in the midst of these difficult times, may we all remember just how desperately we still need a Savior. Good evening. Welcome to Elevating Faith Ministries, where our mission is elevating faith in Christ Jesus from concept to convictions through the preaching, teaching, and application of the Word of God. Tonight, we come together in remembrance of the body and blood of Jesus that was broken at the cross. On this night, we rejoice as we await his glorious return. Good evening, my name is Hubert Brown, and I will be reading the story of the birth of Jesus as found in St. Luke chapter two. In those days, Caesar Augusta issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. Now, this was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth and Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem to the town of David because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flock at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy to all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And you will find the baby wrapped in clothes, lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest in heaven and on earth peace to those whom his favor rest. And while the angels then left and were going into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us go to Bethlehem and see this, this thing that has happened, 
which the Lord told us about. Jesus is the light of the world. Again, I join in the chorus of First Lady and Pastor Abraham. We at Elevating Faith, we welcome you beautiful gifts of God. As we gather on this Advent season, the last Sunday of this Advent, it's good to remember that we all share in the longings of Christ to return. Just as God's people long many years ago for the Messiah to come and to save them, as we begin our first Christmas program titled, Jesus, the Light of the World, let's pause and give thanks to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for all that he has done to keep us throughout this year. For we know that 2020 has been a trying year, a year of ups, and a year of down. Yes, despair and unemployment at a record high. Yet through it all, through it all, the Lord has been faithful to us. We lift our heart together. We lift our hearts together as we remember the promise of our Savior. A promise that he will come again to rescue us from our brokenness and make all things new. We can see the goodness of Jesus in every thread of darkness in the tapestry of our own lives. We know this according to his word. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time of fellowship. We ask that you breathe afresh on us on this evening. Be with us, God. Open our hearts to be able to get something new and profound from you on this evening. We ask that you bless the man as he come before the bread of life, Lord God, and, and give us a word. We ask that you bless every participant that's on this call tonight. We ask that we will, your Holy Spirit just permeate throughout everything that we do on this evening. God, we ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Now join me as we do our liturgy for this evening. And I hope everyone can hear me good um, as we begin our liturgy for the evening. Praise the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has visited and redeemed his people. He has sent us a mighty savior, just as he promised. We have been rescued from our enemies so we can serve God without fear, in holiness and righteousness as long as we live. Congregation, read the next verse. Thanks be to the God of Israel for redeeming us, his people, and being the light of the world. Lord, in your mercies, hear our prayer. Because of God's tender mercies, the morning light from heaven has broken upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide us to the path of peace. 
and together. Thanks. Thanks be to God of Israel for all that you we have done. You are truly your mercies are new every day. Lord, in your mercies, hear our prayer. Acknowledge that you are truly the light of the world. Hear our prayers. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know? that your baby boy has come to make you new. This child that you deliver will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked to where angels shine? When you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. Mary, did you know? No, no, Mary, did you know? No. No, did you know that the blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again? Did you know that the lame will leave, the dead will speak, praise is the Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nation? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect lamb. This sleeping child you're holding is the great I
Wow. Amen. Amen. Wow. Excuse me. Amen. 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 I, 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 I'm, I'm calling in audible right now. I know my, the, what's next on the program is we got a, we got a scripture reading, but that that song just does something for me. Don't go. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. I want you all to just 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 listen to those words in your heart right now. Mary, did you know? Did Mary Mary? Did you know? Did you know what your little child would would, would, would do? for me what he would what he would do for for abraham i want i want you all to get personal with this thing right now for about 30 seconds i want you to get personal with him and i want you just to love on him right now we're talking about the one that my mama used to call mary's baby mary's baby boy so could you right now please ma'am and please sir could you right now for about 30 seconds just love on him just speak well of him right now right now for about 20 more seconds just begin to speak well of mary's baby just begin to speak yeah. Mary. Well, yes, the Lamb of God, just begin to speak well of Him. Love on Him right now. This is this is Mary's baby that we're talking about. This is Mary. But Mary, did you know that we would love Him so much? Mary, did you know that He would redeem mankind? Mary, did you know? Love on Him, y'all. Love on him. Speak well of him now. We come here tonight to speak well of Mary's baby. We come here tonight to speak well of him in our praise. Let our praise lift him up high because he said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men yes. unto me. So lift him up right now in your homes. Lift him up in your living room. Lift him up in your bedrooms. Yes. Lift him up right now. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Right now. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We speak, well. we speak well. We speak well of him. We speak well of him tonight in our praise. Amen. 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 We will not have our scripture reading. Glory, Lord. I'll be reading from the English Standard Version, Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 through 25. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they will, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke from sleep, he did as he he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took his wife, but knew her not until she had given birth to a son, and he called his name Jesus. Matthew two one through twelve. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them, where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod
Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. And now, the question of the ages, from the cradle to the cross, what child is this? The question begs to be answered. Who is this man child that was born to save this world? Stand with me, open your hearts and your mind as we hear from our pastor on this evening. What child? is this amen amen why don't you give god a hand clap of praise in the house amen wherever you are wherever you are why don't you just give god a hand clap of praise i didn't say i didn't say praise abraham i said praise praise our, our risen savior Come on now, you can do you can do better than that. That that that'd be all right. That'd been all right if I had if I had just done well on a test or something. That would be all right. That there you go. There you go. There you go. We 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 come to we come to exalt him now. We come to and make his name great in this place on this evening. But but wherever you are, wherever you are, somebody say I need a word. I need a word. Amen. I, I, I need to hear that. I need to hear that. I need I need y'all to give me some energy tonight. Now, somebody I say, word. I need a word. I need, I a, need word. a word. Glory, That's glory, Lord. Lord. Glory, Lord. There, and, and there's good news for you tonight because there is a word from the Lord. There is a word from the Lord. That word comes from the, the video that we just played for you is out of in Matthew's gospel verses 1 through 11. I'll read a couple of these verses for you. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, Magi, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who was born, who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. Gathering together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They said to him in Bethlehem of Judea, for this is what has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the leaders of Judah. For out of you shall come forth a ruler who shall shepherd my people. Then Herod secretly called the Magi and determined from them the exact time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search carefully for the child. Somebody say the child. The child. And when, they, when, and when you have found him, report to me so that I too may come and worship him. After hearing the king, they went their way, and the star which they had seen in the east went on before them until it came and stood over the place where the child was. Somebody say the child. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. After coming into the house, they saw the child, the child, somebody say the child. The child. With Mary, his mother, and they fell to the ground and worshiped him. Then opening their treasures, they presented him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned by God in a dream not to return to Herod, the Magi left for their own country by another way. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, Lord God, it is now this the preaching hour. God, we come now, Lord, first and foremost, God, just to say thank you. 
God, we thank you for being God and God all by yourself. We thank you, God, that you didn't need any help or you didn't need to run for any kind of office. You didn't need to run for election. You were just God. You're sovereign. You're awesome. You're wonderful in your power, God. We just, and we love on you tonight. God, we ask right now that you would do an inspection at this moment. Conduct an inspection at this moment, God, of our hearts. And when you find even the slightest thing, even the smallest thing that does not resemble you in any way, God, forgive us of our sins and yes, cleanse God. us of all unrighteousness. Now, yes. God, we desire to be in your will and in your way, Lord God. So, Lord, we ask that you would dwell now among us. And, Lord God, mm -hmm. I pray now for that preaching anointing. Give me that preaching anointing that makes preaching easy and makes sinning so hard. God, mm -hmm. we pray now that you would give me the power to preach this word in a manner that is practical, portable, and powerful, that the hero be, the hearer will be not just a hearer alone, but a doer of this word, where they will be able to put faith into action. This is our prayer now. Elevate our faith through this word. In Jesus' name we pray, and all who believe God indicated so by saying, amen. Amen. Well, it seems like it's that time of year again. It seems like it's that time of year again where all the world is astir with the hustle and bustle of everything that's going on in this season. It seems like everything is a buzz. I don't I don't care I don't care what your what your your, your religious leaning. Everything right now is a stir because something is in the air. Something is in the air and, and, and parents everywhere, parents everywhere are running around frantically looking for that perfect gift for their little child. Parents everywhere are running around looking from when, when, when we were little kids, I, we, I got some on the phone who I, 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 I know your backtrack, so I know where you come from. I got some of you on the phone who know that, that, that when, when we were little, you were, looking around, you were running around, mama and daddy and they were looking for an Etch-A-Sketch, or they might have been looking for a Cabbage Patch doll. But nowadays, nowadays, they're looking for that PS5. They're looking for that SE bike and they're, they're looking for all manner of things, but they're looking for those things uh, incidentally, not for themselves, but they're looking for them th 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 these things most of the time for their child. They're, 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 they're brave, long, they're brave, arctic chills and long lines for their child. They, they'll stand in shoulder to shoulder, COVID filled, um, department stores, but they'll do that for their child. They'll do it for their child. They will go through hell and high water, it seems. They'll do that for their child. But if you would pray with me real good tonight, if y'all would pray with me real good tonight, I want to trouble you with this topic tonight, this subject, what child is this? What child is this? What child is this? You see, in, 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 in our text, in our text tonight, we see, we, 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 we're, we're introduced to some characters. We see a king who's worried. The king is worried and his whole country is worried with him. But they not, they're not worrying about some marauding, invading army. They're not worrying about some, some force that has invaded their shores. They're worried about a child what child is this that would cause even a king to begin to worry what child is this that would cause even a king to begin to quake and shiver and shake in his boots what child is this what child is this that caused the king to to seek from wise men they he, he sought all around his kingdom trying to find an answer because he had heard some rumblings about this thing about this child and there was there was something that had taken place in the cosmos that that seemed to indicate that something that is unique something that is 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 interesting something that is divine has now invaded the space that we called earth this 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 thing this thing has shifted the atmosphere, this thing has shifted the atmosphere and caused those who study the night sky to be perplexed and bewildered. They were wondering what was going on. It was something about this particular child. The theologians say that, that these, 
three wise men, these three magi, they came from as far away, some say as Persia. They came from Arabia and they came from, uh, from even from India. They came, but they came with one thing in mind. They came trying to figure out what is this that has happened? What is going on? Something has happened in the atmosphere. Now, now while there is great debate and many argue over the identity of these wise men and, 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 and scholars can, can agree to disagree on the origin and the nature and the nationality and the ethnicity of these wise men. But one thing is not up for debate is the fact that they came looking for this child. These men, I don't care whether they were Arabians or Persians or Medes or Cretes. I don't care whether they were Hivites or Hittites. They came looking for this child. You see, they, 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 their, their life was uprooted and their life was disrupted because something has happened that begged their attention. This thing, this thing that has happened that has shook the cosmos and put the cosmos astir. This thing that has happened has now caused these men who probably made a living by sorcery or reading the stars, these men left their, they left their way of living. They left making a living. They left their livelihood to go find out what was the cause for this phenomena. We can argue about their identity. But one thing that we know, one thing that we know is that they came. They came looking for him. They came looking for him. See, see these men, even though, even though these men did not worship God the way we worship God, hear this now, hear this, these men did not worship God the way that we worship God. They realize that all mankind in some way, shape, or form has found himself in a bad shape. In fact, in fact, the origins of man's bad shape is rooted in the cosmic rebellion that took place in heaven when Satan and one third of the angels of heaven were kicked out of heaven. And in that cosmic rebellion, it said that all three of that, that, that Michael and the other angels fought with them and kicked them out of heaven. This cosmic rebellion, this cosmic rebellion is repeated again in Genesis, in Genesis chapter three, where the serpent had an encounter, a conversation of the discussion that became a negotiation with the woman and he said did God really say did God really say did God really say he said God know that you you not you would not surely die that conversation led the woman to be deceived and she ate of the fruit and she gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate as well and they and, and they both at that moment, everything changed in the cosmos. Everything changed in God's creation. Everything changed in God. In God in Genesis chapter 3 verse, verse 15. Dr. Plant, Dr. Plant, hear me now. Check, me, check my theology on this. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 we see what is called the proto-evangelium. The proto-evangelium in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 simply means that this is the first gospel. This is the first good news where God says that uh, because ser uh, serpent, because you've done this thing, I will put enmity between thy seed and her seed, the seed of the woman and the seed of Satan. God said, I will put enmity between your seed and her seed. He shall crush your head and thou shalt bruise his heel. This passage of scripture, this proto-evangelium is the foretelling of what we will see right here that brought these wise men coming from wherever they came from to see about this child. What child is this? What child is this? What child is this? This child is the one that was foretold in this proto-evangelium, this first good news, this first gospel that spoke about because the seed of the woman now, the seed, the seed of the woman spoken about here is Jesus the Christ. 
This was, this was spoken about in the garden, in this, in this post idyllic setting, in this post idyllic setting in the garden, when man had now fallen, man had now disappointed God so badly, but God gave man good news here in this first good news in first good news here, Genesis chapter three, verse 15. He said that the seed of the woman. The seed of the woman, there will be enmity between the seed of the woman and the seed of the serpent. The seed of the serpent is the Antichrist. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned because next year in 2021, at Elevating Faith, I'm going to be teaching the entire book of Revelations. If you're ever interested in end time prophecy, you want to get in on those Bible studies. We're going to be teaching the book of Revelations. But, but this is what we're talking about. The seed of the woman is Jesus the Christ. This, this is the foretelling that a Messiah would come. This is the foretelling that a Messiah would come. And, and, and we, we, we read scripture tonight that indicates that this Messiah, his name would be called Jesus in the Hebrew tongue. In the Hebrew tongue, his name is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah. Yeshua HaMashiach is Jesus, the Messiah, it was foretold in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. What child is this? What child is this that calls these wise men to come from, from, from near and far just to see what was going on? We, we got we to take a look at we got to take a look at this child because this is just no ordinary child. This is just no ordinary child because before, be, upon arriving in Bethlehem, Upon arriving in Bethlehem, they found Mary and young Jesus. They found Jesus, and they, but, but they found him that he was no ordinary man. Now, I need to point something out to you. I need to point something out to you because we in the church, we mess things up so much. We, 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 we brutalize scripture and we, we mangle scripture and we, we meld things together until we, we, we create old wives' tale. I, I part, pardon the pejorative there, but we, we create these, these narratives and stories that are simply not true. We painted the picture that when they came, when they came to Jesus, when they found Jesus, that they found, they found a little bitty baby. They did not find a little bitty baby when they found Jesus. When the, when, when, when the wise men found Jesus, they found a little boy. They did not find the infant wrapped in swaddling. They found a little boy. They found a little boy. Jesus might have been several years. Jesus was a toddler by this time that the wise, I can, can I teach y'all just a little bit tonight? Will y'all indulge me just a little bit if I can teach you tonight? This was, Jesus was not a baby when the wise men found him, but he was still no ordinary child. What they found, what they found, what, what they found when they found Jesus and Mary, they found what theologians like my sister, Dr. Plant, would refer to later on, thousands of years later, they found this, 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 this child that could best be described by people far smarter than me as the hypostatic union. Who? Help me, Abraham. What is the hypostatic union? The hypostatic union is the combination of divine and human natures and the single person of Christ. They found no ordinary child. So if the question goes out, what child is this? This is no ordinary child. This is no ordinary child. This child is 100% God and 100% man at the same time indicated and represented in this hypostatic union. Or as my sister loves to correct me, the hypostatic union. I don't see your picture, but I know you're smiling. They found him. They found him that is not any ordinary child. This child, this Christ child that they found was divine and human, God and man, king and redeemer. And they immediately bowed themselves and rendered obeisance to him. Soon as they got into his presence, they, they bowed and they rendered obeisance to him because this is no ordinary child. They bowed as and worshiped him as one would worship a dignitary. They, they bowed before him as one would do before a king. They bowed before him because this is no ordinary child. The word of God declares that they came, 
They came to the place where the star had led them and they rejoiced and were, were exceedingly glad. I can almost see in my mind's eye that they're, they're excited and they're jumping to see and they were, they were racing to see who was going to open up their gifts first and present their gifts to Jesus. Last thing, last thing I deal with on this point is that they opened up for him three gifts. Among these three gifts were gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But these gold, the, the, these gifts had symbolic meaning. The gold had the, these gold, the, these gifts had symbolic spiritual meaning. The gold was a symbol of his kingship on earth. Frankincense was a symbol of his deity and his priestly role, and myrrh was was symbolic of embalming oil, which was in, was a symbol that he was born to die. The gold was a symbol of his kingship. The frankincense was a was a symbol of his deity and his priestly role, and the myrrh was a symbol of the fact that he was born to die. He came here. This child was no ordinary child. He came here to die. What, what child is this? What child is this that at the age of 12, when, when, the, when, the, when the family had gone to this great big old picnic, it was bigger than a picnic, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a picnic and a kickback and a, and, 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 and a barbecue, it was all that in one. They went to this thing and they did it every year. It was, it was something that they went to every year. This was a big thing. This was, this was a big blowout. It was happening every year. And, they, and everybody had to bring a lamb to be slaughtered at this particular feast. But, but here they are. They're at this feast. And, 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 and this child, this child is 12 years old. And, and the mama and daddy, when they left the feast, when they left the feast, they forgot about this boy. The boy was left there. And they had journeyed for three days. They journeyed on for three Three days and they realized that they had not they had left this boy but they, they they left this child they left the child but they turned around but guess where they found this child at they found him in the temple reasoning with doctors and lawyers he was this child what 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 child is this that at the age of 12 can sit and debate and discuss these deep theological concepts with people that was far older than him chronologically speaking. They were far older than him chronologically, but they were no wiser than what child is this at the age of 12 that would, that, that would, would, would tell his, his, his mother, I must be about my father's business. What child, I, if I had told my mama something like that, my mama, God rest her soul, my lips would have soon met the, the business end of her backhand if I had talked to my mama like that. If I had talked to my mama like that, my, my backside would have soon met the business end of a switch that I would have had to go pick out for myself. He said, it's, I must be about my father's business. What child is this? What child is this that can talk to his parent that way? But I want to submit to the church tonight that this is no ordinary child. This child, this child grew up to become a man. This child grew up to become a man. And then one day, one day at a wedding, at a wedding, his mother, his mother called him and, he, and she told him at the wedding, she said that the wine has run out. He said, he said, woman, woman, look, look again. Look how this child got, got, a, got, a, got a sassy mouth, don't he? Got, got all smart mouth. Kind of, kind of, Jesus, Jesus was kind of sassy. He said, he said, he said, woman, what does that have to do with me? What does that have to do with me? She told, she didn't even listen to that, old, that, that little smart mouth joker. She did not even listen to that smart mouth joker. She turned around to the servants and she said, whatever he tell you to do, do it. What kind of child, what child is this that at the age of 12 would talk to his mother that way and just leave them and be, be gone on his own for three days, but he was in the temple? What child is this that at the age of 30, I don't care how old you get, that is still your mama, but here he is at the age of 30. He said, woman, what does that have to do with me? What child is this that would talk to their parent? in that way what child would address this their, their mother as a woman what, what what child is this so so here he is here it is here it is he he turned to the servants that his mother has already put on notice he he turned to the servant and he told them fill those water pots to the brim and the water pots here were no ordinary water pots these were really literally things that you wash your hand in almost like trash can just just fill, fill them up to the brim they, 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 they poured water in them, and he called the governor of the feast, and he tasted some. And, and sometime, sometime between 
the, 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 the pouring in of the water and the dipping out of the, of the water. Sometime between the pouring in of the water in the water pots and the dipping out of the water in the cup, there's something changed where the water was turned into wine. What child is this that would first tell his mama, woman, what does that have to do with me? And then he, he makes something happen that is that defies and it literally beggars belief. What child is this? What child is this? What child is this who was walking, walking on the road? He was walking along the road one day and, and this blind man called him. His blind man called him and said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And, 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 and people tried to shush the boy. They tried to shush the boy, but he cried out all the more. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And, and Jesus turned to see little, little Bartimaeus right there. Because see, sometimes, sometimes if you can't get through, sometimes you got to reach out, reach out to this child. Sometimes you got to reach out to this child that became a man. Sometimes you got to reach out to this child that became a man, that became a savior. And you got to cry loud and spare not and don't care who listening. You got to say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, sometimes, sometimes your need has to be greater than your shame. You got to, you got to press to find him in a crowd full of people and touch the hem of his garment. You got to, you got to, you got to look for him when you're on the way burying your child, like the widow of Nain did, and he touched, he touched the son on the foot, and the child came back. What, 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 what child is this? What child is this? What child is this who knowing, knowing what was about to befall him, he still went through with all of this anyway. What child is this? What child is this? This child is the one that John the Baptist said, behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. But look at him, y'all. Can't you hear John saying that? Y'all look. Y'all look. Look yonder. Look yonder, y'all. Look, here he comes, y'all. Look yonder. There he is, the, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. What child is this? What child is this who Though he were tempted on every level wherein I am tempted, yet he sinned not. What, what child is this that could be around beggars and, 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 and thieves and liars and, and even be around harlots and prostitutes and never yield one time to that temptation? What child is this? What child is this that can endure all manner of ridicule and shame, but yet he still pressed on anyway? What child is this? What child is this that could still be could, could still stand being betrayed by his best friend, by one of his closest inner circle? He was betrayed by one of his best friends. His best friend denied him, but he still restored him. What child is this? I'll tell you who he is. This child is just no is not just any ordinary child. This child is one who came walking down through 40 and two generations. This child is one who came with a specific purpose in mind, and that is to redeem us back to our God. We were lost in sin. We wasn't fit to live, but, ain't, but God showed enough no that we wasn't ready to die. We wasn't fit to live, but we, we wasn't ready to die. But this child came walking down through 40 and two generations because he looked at the fallen state of man. He looked at man and man's helpless state, and he knew that man was a lost cause. He knew that 
no matter how hard man worked, that man was at a loss right now. What child is this? This is the child who walked down through the Judean hillside for 33 years. This child, this same child that the Magi came and rendered obeisance to, this is the child that gave blinded eyes their sight. Come here, Bartimaeus. Did he not allow you to see? Did he not touch your eyes and you were able to see? This is the same child, the same child that met the demoniac in the in, in, in the graveyard and, and he healed that demoniac and he called out the demon and sent them into a herd of swine. This is the same child, that same child that gave stammering tongues their eloquent speech. This is the same child that unstopped deaf ears. This is the same child that made the mute to talk. This is the same child that made the paralytic and the lame to walk. This is the same child that turned water into wine. This same child is one that they call water in dry places. This same child is the one that they call food in a starving land. This same child is the one that they call a wheel in the middle of a wheel. This same child is the one who looked beyond my faults and saw to every one of my needs. What child is this? What child is this that picked me up every time I fell? What child is this that picked me up and props me up on every leaning side? This child, this child is the lifter of my head. This child is the lover of my soul. This child is the bright and morning star. This child is the rose of Sharon. This child is the great I am. This child, this child is Mary Baby. Baby boy, this child is none other than Jesus. He's Jesus. This child is Jesus. He's Jesus the Christ. Brutally beaten. Beaten unrecognizable. They beat him until he was unrecognizable. But this child endured all of that for you and I. He despised the shame of it all, but he went through it for you and I. Isaiah said that they hated him so much that they even plucked the very beards from his face. They hated him so much that theologian Josephus said that when they formed the crown of thorns, the thorns were about two and a half to three inches long and they took about 72 of them and twisted them into a, into a crown and forced it into his skull where the blood came streaming down. This child, this child was beaten so as, until his back was shredded into ribbons when they beat him. Lashed him 39 times where flesh was literally pulled from his bone, this child. This child endured all of that, standing on the cross, hanging there on the cross with nails through his wrist, through the, through the carpal and the metacarpal here. They, in the wrist, they, they nail nails there and they nail nails in his feet. And so he's hanging there, essentially dying from shock. He's going into shock right now as his upper body is filling with fluids. It's getting hard for him to breathe. And those of you who've Survive COVID, understand what it feels like to when you can't catch your breath. He, he's laying there, he's hanging there, but he don't have COVID. He, he has your sin. See, he, he, he's hanging there, but he, he don't have coronavirus and he don't have COVID-19, but he still can't hardly breathe because his lungs are beginning to fill up with fluid as he, as he hang there. He hanging down on the cross. He can't hardly he can't hardly breathe as he's he, he, he hanging there. And, but what child is this that through labored breaths stopped dying long enough? Through labored breaths, he stopped dying long enough to look down at that cross. And he looked down in the face of the woman who brought him into the world. He looked down into the face of the woman that it sounded like he was being rude to at 12. 
he looked down into the face of the woman that it sounded like he was being rude to at 33 or 30 something years old, 30 years old when he began his earthly ministry. He looked down at the face of this woman, his mother, and he's called a woman again, but this time he said, woman, behold thy son and son, behold thy mother. He stopped dying long enough to make an exchange with John, the disciple whom he loved. He, he stopped dying long enough to make this exchange with John. I'll take your, I'll take your worst if you take my best. I'll, I'll, I'll take your worst sin. I'll take your worst shame. I'll, I'll take your worst depravity. I'll, I'll make an exchange with you, John. I'll take your worst if you take my best. You take my mother, John. You take my mother. She is now your mother. He stopped dying long enough. What child is this? That even in the point of dying, he will stop dying to think about you and I. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He hung there from the sixth to the ninth hour. Then he hung his head. They pierced him in his side. So that scripture would be fulfilled that his no bones would be broken. They pierced him in the side and the, and the spear came up and pierced the pericardium sac around his heart. And blood and water gushed out. Then he died. But he didn't stay dead. What child is this that a grave can't even hold him down? What child is this that even a grave can't even hold him down? What child is this that even your sin is not enough to keep him from loving you? He loved you in spite of, not because of. He loved you in spite of all the mess and all of the wrong that you've done. So now he stands before you. He said, I set before you an open door. All you got to do is enter in. You come in and, and we can eat. We'll sup together. But the word of God is this, that if you would confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. And this child, this child, he, he, he's given you a free gift now in this gift given season. He died to give you this free gift. He died so that you and I may have right to the tree of life. He died so that we could, that you and I could have a right to that tree whose fruit changes every month. He died so that you and I could have a right to the tree of life, that tree that doesn't have just one fruit, but 12 fruit on the tree of life. He died so that we could have a right to the tree of life that is on one tree is on both sides of a river. That's what he died for. And all you got to do is accept him today. Accept him as your Lord and as your Savior. And if you will accept him today, the only thing you need to do is I want you to send a text to the church. Text us at 770-906-8363. Text the word salvation. Text the word salvation to 770-906-8363. And someone will contact you and we'll pray with you. And we will walk you through this whole process. And even if you desire prayer, if you desire prayer, text prayer to that same number. Text prayer, the word prayer, to that same number, 770-906-8363, and, and someone will pray with you. Amen. 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 Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Let's give God a hand clap of praise for this child. Glory to God. Glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory, Lord. Hallelujah. It's now time for us to, to remember what the Lord has done for us. It is now time for to remember what this special child has done. 